Hey, this is Patriot in the Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another in the descriptive video series of field stripping firearms. This is geared for the low vision and blind community, so let's check it out. Okay, today we're working with a Browning Bookmark pistol. This is a 22 caliber semi-automatic pistol with a direct blowback action with a fixed barrel. This does hold uh, 10 rounds of 22 long rifle in a box magazine. So before we start, we will verify that it is clear. So I pick it up, aiming it in a safe direction. I press the mag release, drop the magazine, set that off to the left, and I slide the slide to the rear, pushing up on the slide lock. Verify that it is clear with my finger, since I am totally blind, which is a little difficult with a 22 caliber since it's so small, but you can feel that it is clear. So I will drop the slide. All right, now before we start, we'll just kind of go over the basic overview of this pistol. Um, since this is a fixed barrel, this is a little different than most uh, semi-autos since the slide is only a small portion of it. The barrel is actually exposed um, kind of resembling like a Luger or a, uh, you know, one of those foreign pistols. But starting off with the barrel aiming to the left, pistol grip is facing you. Um, if you start at the left side, you'll notice that there is a blade style uh, front sight, which is adhered fixed to the barrel. Okay, so it doesn't move with the slide, which makes this inherently a little more accurate. Now, Following back through the barrel, all right, on the top side of the barrel, you'll feel a little rise. Now this is kind of a, a carriage or a, a bridge that holds the rear sight. Now, as soon as it goes up a little bit, you'll feel uh, a screw hole, and this we'll touch on later once we try to get everything taken apart here. So you slide back across the top, you have a uh, rear sight, which is just a notched rear sight. It is adjustable, windage and elevation. All right, going right to the back of that, right behind the rear sight is the second screw to that carriage that holds your rear sight. So from that point, if you run around the back side, right, you do have a kind of a nice cutout, uh, like a beaver tail that fits in the crook of your finger or your, your hand when you're holding the pistol. All right, now we're gonna start over at the left side again, following the barrel till it meets the frame. You'll feel right along that edge, the same direction parallel with the barrel is another screw, and we'll touch on that later as well. Now, following around to the pistol, uh, <laughs> the trigger guard, I'm sorry, you follow that around till it hits the pistol grip, that right at that section is your mag release, which is just a push button on the left side. Um, you depress that to release the magazine. All right, now following the uh, trigger guard to the, to the front, right underneath the barrel, if you slide along the back here, you'll feel um, right about here. Uh, if you slide right directly above the, the front leading edge of the pistol grip, straight up, there'll be two tabs all right, the front tab is your slide lock. All right, what it does is it pivots in the front, and so as you move it up from the, the rear side of the pistol, it'll actually lock the slide back, and then if you pull it down, that will release the slide if it locks on an empty magazine, or if you lock it back. Now, towards the back of the pistol, if you run back, there is a manual safety. Now, it does pivot in the front as well. Um, it's kind of opposite of a 1911, it actually flips up from the back, right? And so up is safe and it locks your uh, slide from moving as well as locks your trigger. So you're pushing it down in the back side of it and it swings down, that makes it uh, uh, ready to fire. Now this being a rim fire fired cartridge, you don't want to uh, pull the trigger without you know a dummy round in there because it will damage your firing pin. So the most, besides the, the exposed barrel, the most other, ex, I guess, uh, 
defining point of this pistol are the grips. Now this grip, uh, the side that's facing up is the same as the other side, but along the center, cutting cross almost parallel with the barrel, you have a ridge that uh, your thumb, the base of your thumb uh, along the bottom side, will actually align on. And on the other side, it has that same ridge going the same direction, and that basically lines up under your trigger finger. So this style of grip is really nice because it keeps the same purchase. Um, it's, it's really easy. And as far as the weight of this pistol, being more of a target style pistol, uh, it's you know not that the 22 cartridge you know has any recoil, but it really stays on um, sight because of the weight. Like I started off saying, this pistol is a little different since it is a fixed barrel and the slide does not you know cover up the barrel itself. Um, right above the trigger, if you feel where the trigger is, you come up, the slide is actually about four inches by one inch, you know, one inch tall, about four inches long or so. Could be a little off, my, my measurements might be a little different. But if you want to grab the slide, um, underneath that top carriage where your rear sight is, uh, the slide is basically a rectangle. You know, like I said, about a one inch by you know, four, four and a half inches long. Um, about a quarter way back, if you're running along the top of the slide, there's a, a notch cut out and it goes all the way to almost the end of the slide. And that is where your striations are for your, your fingers to grip the slide to, to rack it. All right, and that is on both sides. You know, so it's like the top, top half from a quarter from, way from the front all the way to the back where it's actually notched out. Now, this is a little different since that's the only portion that is, um, yeah, let's try that again. If you rack it back and you push up your slide lock, it'll lock to the rear. But you can kind of feel the difference on this. Um, it does have a slot on the inside um, where it goes around uh, the portion of the frame where uh, that rear sight carriage bolts through. So we'll be able to take a look better once we start removing parts on this but that is the difference with the slide since it does not extend to the front of the barrel it's only that rear portion you know rear half of the pistol and if we just talk about our, the magazine here this is the box magazine um, if you look from the very top if you feel the back side of the magazine is is flat and the front side the leading edge of it is round you know to kind of match the uh, the 22 cartridge now, uh, if you have the round side facing to the left, as it would fit into the pistol grip, uh, the top side has a, a tab, and this is actually extended through the side of the magazine, and it's uh, connected to the fowler, so that you can slide it down with your thumb as you're loading in your rounds through the top. Um, since these are a rimmed cartridge, there is a notch in the top to allow the uh, uh, cartridge to go in. So. It's pretty good. It holds uh, 10 rounds. It is the the normal one, the manufactured one. Um, I don't know if they have you know extended mags or not, but I'm sure um, just like the you know other pistols, you know there, there's all sorts of accessories, and you can uh, race these out. Um, they have been around since 1985, I believe, and there's you know pretty much the same styles, but there are you know upgraded components that you can uh, include on. So for the base part, that is what uh, this pistol looks like.